Hi, my name is Brooklyn, and I'm a lesbian, and I go by she, her. Hello, my name is Reyes. I go by he, they pronouns. I am a two-spirited individual who lives in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Hi, uh, my name is Tashi, and I use they, them pronouns. came out, I want to say, five different times. Um, the first and third one are probably the most important. The first one was, I was in sixth grade, and it was the night of the Pulse nightclub shooting. And I remember hugging my mom and crying to her and telling her, Mom, I'm gay. And, you know, at that moment, my mom was like, you know, we're hugging each other crying, and we're talking about how we're worried for you know, our friends and family safety, like our queer friends and family and that sort of thing. And then the third time we were, both my mom and I were coming home after San Francisco Pride and it was, some argument happened in the car. I don't even remember what, what it was about. I remember we were almost home and I told her, mom, I think I'm trans. And she was like, okay, do you have a, like, what pronouns do you want to go by? And you know, do you have a name in mind? And I, at that moment, I didn't really know. And, you know, she helped me come up with the name. I go, well, my name now, which is Reyes. And, you know, from that moment, her and my dad continued trying their hardest to use the proper pronouns for me. Um, I came out in seventh grade. And for me, coming out began with changing my pronouns rather than telling people I had a new label attached to me. Uh, to be honest, I still don't really like to use gender labels very much, although if people ask, I would say I'm gender fluid or gender queer. Um, when I came out for the first time, it was to tell my family that I was going to start using all pronouns, that, that was I was comfortable using they or he or she, and then it was another few months, maybe half a year, before I told them that I wanted they, them pronouns specifically. Uh, I told my mom about my pronouns first. As far as I remember, I think she maybe asked me a couple questions about kind of just how I, what the process had been like for me. It wasn't very specific. We talked about it more later in that first moment. It was more just like, okay, this, this is what you mean. Just some clarifying questions and then some hugs. And I, I think she said that I, she told me she loved me and, um, my dad, for my dad, I think understanding they, them pronouns was a longer process, but uh, he always made it really clear that he supported me and that he loved me even before I think he totally understood how the whole pronoun thing worked. Um, for me, coming out was, I, I've never really believed in the process of coming out. Um, I never felt like I had to confess anything. I just kind of wanted to be myself and not have it be a big deal. Um, so I basically, my parents were sitting on the deck one day and I went outside and I said, wow, I'm so excited for homecoming. This is my freshman year of high school. Um, and they said, oh yeah, do you have a date? And I said, yeah, her name is so-and-so. Um, and then they were kind of surprised, but they, they um, I think they asked me if this was my coming out. And then I explained that I didn't really believe in coming out and that I, that was just me. Um, and it really went over pretty well. They didn't question me about it so much. They just kind of said, oh, okay, that's cool. And that was a response that worked for me personally. Um, at the time, my sexuality was really just kind of something that was a part of me. And it wasn't something that I was particularly interested in, like, I don't want to say flaunting, but making it very obvious until later. Um, then I started get, uh, joining activist groups and programs. Uh, I worked with the Safe Schools Project to create a slideshow for school staff on how to handle uh, some LGBTQ issues. I think for parents who have kids that come out, that's the most important thing that you always Make it clear that you love and support your kid, even if you're still a little confused about whatever this label means or how to how to use these pronouns. Just put in the effort, do your research and make your kid know that they that you support them still. Um, knowing that you have the support of your loved ones as a queer person is 
kind of one of the most important things for being able to feel comfortable in your identity and being able to share it with other people in your life. So I think for the, uh, my advice for the actual moment of coming out or, or of a kid coming out, it would be to read the room and kind of the emotions there. And even though your kid is going to be telling you something that you didn't know about them, you do still know your kid. So you know whether they would like a hug if they're upset or whether they maybe want to be left alone for a little while after saying their thing. And um, you, you, you can see to an extent, you'll probably be able to see kind of the emotions they're feeling, whether it's kind of tense or nervous or happy and excited. And you should respond to that. Like if your kid seems nervous or afraid, kind of your, your reaction, you should try to be comforting and reassure them. Um, if they're happy, be happy with them. It's, it's an exciting thing. Uh, and it's important to let them know that whatever they're feeling is okay, that their emotions in that moment is val are, are valid because it's a very emotional moment with different meanings for different people. Um, another big thing is I think that a lot of uh, people who have never had to come out don't realize that it's a never-ending thing. It's not just this one time you tell somebody this and it's over. It's this process. Every time the new people come into your life, you have to kind of re-come out. And um, if, like, for instance, if I meet somebody new, I have to explain my pronouns. And not everybody knows how they, them pronouns work or what it means to me. And so it's just this over and over again. And it can be a little exhausting, but um, it's also important to me because it's my identity. Um, I think for parents, if there's something like a new school or a summer camp or something, maybe check in with your kids and ask them if they would be comfortable, if they would like you to send an email to their teacher or counselor or something. And not every kid wants that. Maybe that's something that they want to tell people on their own time and their own way. Um, so make sure you ask before something like that. But it's still important to know, to let your kid know that you're still with them and that you're going to support them through this process because it is the never-ending process coming out. Um, and then at the end of the day, I think that the most important thing is just showing that support in whatever way you and your kid are comfortable with in the way that you know your kid will respond to and make sure your kid knows that you love them. Some people, when they first come out, it's difficult for them and I would say that depending on uh, parents depending on who your child is you could congratulate them on like for the guts it takes I think the bottom line is probably just to be accepting and not to question it or say are you sure you're old enough to know this that's that's a big pet peeve of mine um yeah I would say just be supportive um, if they seem like they want you to be excited about it, um, then, you know, be excited about it. But if they seem like it's just something that's not a huge part of who they are so much as just who they love isn't necessarily like something that they want as their label, um, then just be like kind, gentle, supportive, maybe just say, oh, that's very cool. And if they seem to want to drop it after that, um, then drop it. My advice for parents and guardians who have queer kids um, or, you know, kids who are struggling to come out is give them time and space. You might be accepting and the ki your kids might know that. But, you know, us kids, we need time and space to be able to actually build up the courage to tell our parents and even if we know that our parents are accepting, you know, it still takes a lot of guts and a lot of courage to tell our parents. Um, and even when your kid comes out and it's, you know, as a parent and your kid knows as a, like a kid and they take a while to tell you it's not because it's unsafe. It's because, you know, once again, it takes a lot of guts and a lot of courage and it's not your fault for that. You just need to give them space. And when your kids do come out and you don't really understand, make sure you educate yourself. And you don't always have, like, don't always go to your kid to ask them questions. Google is free. I love Google. Sometimes Google doesn't give the right answers, but it's a good start. And if you have questions, you know, attend panels. Panels are amazing. And even, there's a lot of parent groups out there. And 
I know that's helped my mom, so attending one of those parent groups might also be beneficial for you. Um, and that's all the advice I have right now. I mean, you know, the world's always changing and advice always changes over time, but that's the things that helped my family and helped my mom throughout this period and has helped me. Um, so I hope it helps you.